So, what are my thoughts on Beverly Hills Cop 2? What's going on ladies and gents in Cyberland? So coming back with another film review of a sequel to Beverly Hills Cop, which is... <laughs> Beverly Hills Cop 2. So, with Beverly Hills Cop 2, I didn't... I think I knew it existed. I would always see the cover of what it looked like, but I never watched the film. And I really didn't watch the film until right before 3 came out. And the reason behind that was just, you know, my mindset at the time, I mean, it was one of those things where the films that I did watch when I was a kid, it was just what was available to me, you know? And I would always see um, Beverly Hills Cop 2 show up on television to some extent, and I would always see p bits and pieces of it. I would never see the full film. And then one day, you know, we had HBO, and um, they played it on there, and I watched it from beginning to end. And it was very, it was a good film. It was very entertaining. It was pretty funny. Uh, not as funny as the first one to some extent. However, it was it was still just as good as, as the first one. So, with this film, we see Axel Foley. I'd say the time frame between one and two is probably maybe three to four years. I don't, I don't see it one to two. And the reason why is because the relationship that's established between Axel and uh, Rosewood, Bogomil, and Taggart. And it, it just feels more more unique, like more developed. Like they're, they've they spent a lot of time together. We see photos in the background uh, at certain points in the, in the film that they, they've they grown accustomed to each other. And especially with what happens with Bogomel um, I, and how uh, Axel went out to, to Beverly Hills and, and the, uh, the phone conversations before he had with Rosewood and Tiger before he went down there and the, and the phone conversation he had with... Um, Bogomel and even his daughter at one point, we can see that that relationship is really grown and really established by the second film. So he gets out there and he's trying to investigate what happened with Bogomel. And some things have changed with Beverly Hills, especially the police department. There's this little, uh, this little piss ant that is just a douchebag. Like his behavior is just like, dude, you don't, like the way he talks to 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 the to the officers at the office, it's like, man, like as much as these police have to deal with putting their lives on the line, you you talking to them like that, like you looking to get slapped, you know? I'm just like, no, what are you talking to like that? And we see them trying to figure out this whole thing about an alphabet case and trying to figure out what Bogomel was in into in regards to what happened with him. And that's pretty much just the film. We see these action scenes. They bring back the the music is still from the first one is there. However, the villains are a little bit different. They're not the same like the first one. I mean, they are thieves. I would say say, but the main purpose behind the film is their reasoning is not the same like the first one. So that was good. When it comes to the villain, the, the actor I felt was fine, but the villain I just kind of felt like, eh, he wasn't, to me, he wasn't as menacing. Matter of fact, Bridget Nelson, um, and for those who don't know Bridget Nelson, is she was in, um, she was in uh, Rocky IV. She was the, the wife of uh, uh, Ivan Drago. Uh, she was also married to Sylvester Stallone at one point, too. Uh, and I think she was in Red Sonia, for those who have seen that. And I can't pinpoint all the other films. I know she's in Creed too. She has a cameo in there. But I felt, to me, I felt she was more of uh, the villain. And she was gorgeous. Just Bridget Nelson, like, 
at that time, and I'm not not saying she's bad now, but I'm just saying at that time, she was fine. Like, woo! So, she, to me, she felt more like the, the leading villain, even though she was somewhat playing a secondary role to the actual villain. But the actual villain was just kind of like, to me, he was just like, eh, whatever. I, uh, his, his, his point made sense, but he just wasn't as menacing as Victor Maitland from Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, to me, that's how it felt. So, overall, the action was pretty much about the same, like the same element from the first one. The comedy was about the same. I thought the comedy from the first one was better, but of course, you know, sequels are always hard to make anyway because you have already something established. As far as the character progression, I felt Rosewood was more so coming, being, in the first one he was very reserved. I felt he was being a lot more outspoken, which was good. And I felt Taggart was being a lot more, I wouldn't say he was being a lot more outspoken, but maybe they just made the characters, but he kind of felt like the, like the roles reversed a little bit. Like Rosewood is being more outspoken and Taggart is being more reserved about things. But we also can see why, because, you know, Rosewood's single, Taggart has family, maybe all that stuff, and they mention that. So I get what they're saying. As far as my rating for the film, I would give it, I would give it four and a half out of five yes sirs. Four and a half. And the reason why I wouldn't give it five is because I think a few things. The villain was okay. He, he wasn't, he just wasn't menacing to me enough. Um, the other thing is I felt that the strip club they went to, I felt that copy, like that that element was still, like, I don't know if that was needed. I felt like, well, you already did that with the first one. You could have had just, could have been somewhere else. But maybe they just, you know, do what works. Maybe it was that. So, um, maybe, maybe it was that situation. And then Bogomelt just was, Ronnie Cox wasn't in the film as much as I would have liked. Uh, that doesn't mean, for those listening to this, that means something really bad happened, like a death. It just means that I I really, I always have liked everything Ronnie Cox has been in. I have always liked him as an actor. Um, and of course, you know, most of his, his uh, repertoire has been the 80s and early 90s. He's more so of a music. I think he's always a musician, but he's more so spending time doing music. So um, I wish he had been more in the film. Maybe... He, what happened and then he comes back out or maybe he had been in the film and then something happens. I just felt like not having him in the film as much kind of took a little bit from the film because in the first film, I, I, he was, he was respectable. He was, he was, uh, he was somebody you can get behind. It was somebody you, you could follow his lead. He was a great character. And I just felt like not having him in as much kind of hurt the film a little bit. And I know what they were going for is just, I personally loved him as a character because everybody else I liked was in it, you know. Oh, um, unfortunately, the woman that played Jenny, she wasn't in there. I felt, and I know why, because they, you know, originally Beverly Hills Cop was supposed to be for Sylvester Stallone. It was supposed to be a different premise, but Eddie Murphy's not, you know. And that, that actually, matter of fact, too, that is the interesting thing. If you look at the Beverly Hills Cops film, there's no romance. Like, literally. There's no heroin. Like, there's no heroin in, in, the, um, in the first two films. I really wouldn't say the third film either, and I'll get to that at a later point. But um, there was no heroin. There wasn't like a woman in distress, and that's really interesting because most films they always gotta have. They always try to bring that in at some point. And the woman who played Jenny in uh, in the first film, she didn't exhibit that behavior. Like, oh help me, she was she she was a strong character. She's you know like she can handle on her own if it came down to it for the most part. So with that being said, if you like the first film, watch the second film. I don't know if you'll like it as much as the first film. However, it is entertaining. Uh, it's uh, The characters are great. It's kind of like bringing, getting the band back together kind of thing. It was really, really good to, to watch. And finally, when I was able to sit down and see the whole thing. So with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.